Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Now, we've got uh, an update on the Hugh Edwards story, and it's, there's several things going on, so I'm sort of amalgamating them in to one uh, video rather than doing three separate videos, because I think it's just easier to do that, and it keeps the interest going, and it's much tighter. So um, we know that he's just a terrible, awful man. We know that people in the BBC... Uh, backed him and protected him. Oh, look, well, I'm sure he's fine. Yes, he likes getting up and talking to young boys, blah, blah, blah. They knew. And so it's quite clear that the culture within the BBC really hasn't changed since the good old days of, you know, Jimmy Savile and Rolf Harris, where everybody knew, but everybody kept quiet. Nobody would out them. Nobody would say anything. Um, and the reason, of course, is these people were big. They were big stars. They were well paid. And when you're some junior working in an office, you don't want to lose your job by bringing down a big star and embarrassing the BBC. And that's what it is. It's all fear. The fear of actually saying these things because you're going to lose your rather well paid job. And so children suffered. And that's the price these people were willing to pay. Sure, some kids are getting really badly abused. But hey, I'll keep my job. And it was all supposed to change, wasn't it? It was all supposed to be much better after Savile was outed, after uh, Harris was outed, after Stuart Hall was outed, after Gary Glitter was outed, after all of them, all the same. It was meant to change. And yet it hasn't. Because it's been revealed that whilst working in the newsroom, when you have the young boys come in, the staffers come in, these young lads come in, Hugh Edwards was all over them, slobbering all over them, asking them out for drinks, asking them out for dinner. A creepy uncle, you know, touchy. Oh, putting his hand on their shoulders, encouraging them, grooming them. Everybody knew. Everybody knew what this old, perverted paedophile was doing. He would message them. He would sit and be uh, WhatsApping these guys in sexual manners. People knew. People in the newsroom knew. Nobody spoke up. Nobody protected these vulnerable people. You might say, oh, well, look, he's 16, 17 and 18 year olds. They're still vulnerable because of the position they're in. You've got these older guys, much, much more powerful, who could exercise authority and have them fired. That's vulnerable. When you are in a position where someone can fire you, for not responding to their sexual advances, you're vulnerable. And this old wanker, this greasy, creepy, horrible toad of a man, licking his lips in salacious pleasure as the latest new young lad walked in the office door and was eyeing up and working out the best way of getting hold of him and touching him. And everybody knew. Uh, an insider has actually come forward. There has been a whistleblower. An insider has claimed that bosses at the corporation turned a blind eye to the star's behaviour within the newsroom in order directly to protect him. It admits they knew he'd been arrested and what the charges were before, before they gave him the pay rise, a pay rise of some 40 odd thousand, 45,000 pounds a year pay rise, way more than what the average man in the street earns. And that was his pay rise. And they knew he'd been arrested and charged. Now, I'm going to say innocent until proven guilty. He's now admitted it, so there's no, no court case. And so a, co a company like the BBC or whatever, someone's just because someone's been arrested or charged, doesn't mean they're guilty. So, you, OK, you keep them on the books until such time, but you don't give them a £45,000 pay rise. Or if you do, you're backdated until he wins his case. Um, anyway, a BBC insider said last night that it was known for a few years that he was messaging an assortment of young men and lads in the newsroom, asking them for drinks and dinner, etc. And the, and the senior editor's turned a blind eye because they knew. And it points to the usual protect the star uh, sort of mentality that the BBC have had for years. They knew what Savile was doing. Everybody knew. And yet, big star, let's protect him. 
you know, let's even supply him with what he needs. Um, he was arrested on November the 8th last year, with the BBC being aware of his arrest almost immediately. It's been revealed. He was then charged on June the 26th and he resumed last year. He resigned in April this year. And now it's gone up and the BBC have been paying him. That means licence fee payers have been paying this pervert, this paedophile for, for 18 months. Um, OK, so he, he's... Prov he, He's pleaded guilty, so there'll be no court case. It'll just be sentencing. He could get up to 10 years. He probably won't, but I think a few years would be nice. But what also needs to happen is that the senior managers at the BBC also need to be arrested, questioned and charged if they're aiding and abetting this creepy toad in the abuse of the vulnerable and the young. Now, I'm going to put this picture up. Boom, you can see this, yes. Uh, and this is the guy, young man, who supplied Hugh, um, Hugh Edwards with all those pictures. Um, he kind of looks the sort, to be honest. There is a look. They always have a look, don't they? Uh, and I think he's exactly the sort that Hugh Edwards would like to get to know a lot better. Although he's possibly ageing out of Hugh Edwards' preferred ages. He's 24, 25, something like that. So um, getting on a bit, as far as Hugh's concerned, not really his thing anymore. He seems to like the boyish look. You know, but um, yeah, so there we are. So we have the fact that the BBC knew he was doing it, were covering it up again, like the Savile, like the Harris. Shh, don't tell. We've already had all those problems. We don't want to highlight that we're filled with pervs and peds, but they are. And don't forget, Schofield, Philip Schofield began his career in the broom cupboard. Well, boy, has he ever come out of the cupboard, right? And Schofield, when he said, oh, well, I had this relationship with a 16-year-old boy, and it may be legal out in the street, but he was his boss. So again, Schofield with a 16-year-old boy over whom he had power. Yeah, we all know what Schofield is. The BBC absolutely rampantly filled with peds, pervs and predators. It is wonderful, isn't it? It's a wonderful organisation. It needs to be ripped top to bottom. And it needs to go. It's time this BBC pervert factory was just smashed to smithereens and destroyed. And everyone investigated. Every single person who works for the BBC needs to be investigated. Because I suspect Hugh Edwards will not be the last. There's just so much going on. And I'm just waiting for the fallout. I'm just waiting for who else. Because apparently the investigation is going on. Even though they've got Hugh, the investigation is going on. Uh, because it was a whole WhatsApp group and they're looking at other people in this WhatsApp group. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if there was other people known to Hugh who were enjoying these photographs. I'll leave it there. It just goes to show, though, that not only is Hugh the perv, but the whole BBC worked knowing what he was like and deliberately covered it up. Thanks very much. Bye.